Do you think cybersecurity is IT's job? Well, I've got news for you. It actually starts and ends with the board. Stay tuned to find out why I say that as we explore some of the aspects and activities that board members are involved in to help govern cybersecurity across their organisation. Cybility Savvy, the quickest way to go from cyber confused to cyber savvy. Hello, I'm Michaela Leoborg, founder of Cybility Consulting. As members of the board, the key thing for you is good governance of the organisation and ensuring that it's working to meet its actual objectives of what it's there for to deliver for your maybe beneficiaries or your customers. With cybersecurity, it's no different to any other area that you're responsible for as a board. You look at risk of, say, health and safety, finance, and how that's managed and governed operationally. And the same thing applies to cybersecurity. One of the things that you can be doing as a board is, first of all, is it actually on the organisation's agenda? Are they actually recognising this risk and dealing with it? If they are, then looking at, is there an established programme in place? What are they using as a framework? How are they doing that? Who is this they? We'll come back to that in just a moment. Looking at how they prioritise and make decisions around cybersecurity whether it's the risk versus benefit of doing something or perhaps the cost associated with implementing something. And in terms of the management and operation of whatever that framework or program is, actually monitoring the performance and baselining that at the start so you know how you're doing on that journey as an organisation in terms of improving that cybersecurity maturity is really important. All too often I see programs where they just start doing something because they know they need to do something about cyber, but they don't actually look at where they are, take that baseline measurement and then look at what quantifiable improvements are being made with the efforts that they're investing. So that's one of the things that as a board you can be looking at and challenging and making sure those decision making processes are appropriate and are robust. One of the other things that you'll be concerned about as a board is, you know, is the organisation complying with legislation, the regulatory requirements if you're in a regulated industry, but also perhaps your contractual obligations if you've got clients who have very specific needs uh, that your organisation's going to deliver on. Having assurance around those aspects, doing a bit of a deep dive occasionally, into those. It is something that you can do perhaps as a subcommittee rather than the board itself, but definitely something that I would encourage to happen. Ultimately, all of this is about achieving the objectives of the organisation and the way that's done will differ depending on a range of factors. One of the things I'd really encourage you to do is uh, go and watch a previous episode because then you'll sort of get an understanding of how in cybersecurity we're looking at everything in an organisation, thinking about the people, the geography, uh, the legislation, the technology. There's so many different aspects and so I'd really encourage you to uh, go and have an understanding of that because that will then sort of guide us through the rest of this journey. Coming back to uh, that question about who are they that is actually doing the operational management and implementation of your cybersecurity program, that will differ again depending on the organisation. If we look at larger organisations for a moment, one of the things that I often see is, uh, and I'll just give you an example here, that uh, you have say a board member has seen something on the news and thinks, oh my goodness, that could happen here go to their uh, executive team and say, you know, what are we doing about cyber? The executive team then go to their CIO, if they have one, and say, you know, well, you know, it's IT's job, isn't it? You know, what are you doing about cyber? And CIO goes to their uh, IT person and says, you know, what are we doing about cyber? You've got that under control, right? One of the things that I often see is that there's a bit of a confusion uh, between IT and cybersecurity. Now, it's fair to say that absolutely a lot of IT professionals will have some understanding of cybersecurity. 
in particular, they'll be very familiar with identity uh, management controls about giving access to people, removing it, that sort of thing. But when it comes to actually securing systems, quite often there's a bit of a gap there and they may not be aware because they are different disciplines. So whilst it would be great to have some cybersecurity people in your IT department, if you have your own IT department, if you don't and you're outsourcing, then from a board point of view, what assurance do you have around the supply chain? Is your outsourced IT provider doing what you need from a security point of view? So what if you're a small organization? You don't have an outsourced IT provider. You don't have an in-house IT department. It's all on you. Good news, it makes the governance a little bit easier because the decision-making process is quite short uh, from that point of view. But it does mean that you need to perhaps upskill yourself and begin to understand a little bit about some of the basics around cybersecurity. And uh, we talk about that in another episode that we can link you to. One of the things as well around IT and cybersecurity is we have different objectives, particularly if there is an incident. Say there is um, an incident, then IT's job is to get everyone up and running as quickly as possible so that the organisation can keep delivering its services. In cybersecurity, it's about protecting the evidence around an incident and being able to follow that trail and be confident that that incident's taken care of before restoring services. So there can be this sort of bit of push and pull between those areas. So it's really important, again, that as a board, you've been clear about the direction for the organisation, what the priorities are, and you know, are you going to prioritise service operation over potentially security investigations? And there's no right or wrong around this. It's down to what's important to you as a cohesive board um, around the risks that you want to take and that that sets the direction and the parameters for those that are then going to operationally manage the cybersecurity program. In terms of who those people are, join me for another episode and we'll have a closer look at that.